show that for all values of k, the line y equals to y minus y equals to kx cuts the curve at two real and distinct points. So this is a question that involves two curves. You want to show that when you solve them simultaneously, the discriminant should be more than zero, right? The discriminant should be more than zero. So when this means that you are talking about a line here, I do not know what the line looks like. It probably looks something like this. Let me just make y the subject. And the second curve, y equals to x squared. So you want to show that the so-called, the graph looks something like that. They cut at two distinct points. And if that's the case, it means that when I solve them side by side, uh, I will get the discriminant to be more than zero. What do I mean by solving them side by side? Now imagine that when we are solving an equation like this, what we'll probably do is we'll call this equation one, we will call this equation two, and after that, right, we will actually solve them simultaneously. And naturally, you can see that y lens itself as a uh, natural substitute. So if you were to suck, for example, the second one into the third, the equation one, if we were to basically suck uh, equation two into equation one, you will get something like this, kx plus one equals to x squared. Now, because you know that you want to have two solutions, right? basically we want to show this equation supposed to have, need to have, or show that this have two real and distinct solutions, right? This is formed by you equating them together. Okay, they have two real and distinct solutions. So from here, right, what do we do next? Okay, so this one, just make the right-hand side zero. Form your quadratic equation. Make the right-hand side zero, okay? So after you make the right-hand side zero, what do you do next? Uh, find a discriminant. that You want to show that the discriminant is positive, okay? So b squared minus 4ac, my a is 1, my b is negative k, my c is negative 1, as you can see here, okay? Huh? So a is equal to 1. The coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is negative k. The constant here is negative 1. Now forming by discriminant b squared minus 4 a c, uh, you get k squared plus 4. Now basically, this is a positive function squared. I would say positive, a non-negative function. Oh, okay, k squared plus 4. Now definitely, you know that uh, k squared itself right, is always more than equal to 0 for all k. Right? So definitely, this uh, k squared plus 4 is more than equal to 4, which is also more than equal to 0. Okay, oh? So therefore, you have actually showed that your discriminant right, is always positive. Now, if you have showed that your discriminant is always positive, you can actually conclude that. Therefore, the line, they cut at two real distinct points. Okay, oh? So since, since uh, the discriminant is more than 0, hence, there are two real and distinct points of intersection.